The minute that she opens her mouth and says, It's really pretty. My heart just no ball gown kind of style because no. it's just no. not Jamie. She will definitely be outspoken and tell me yes or no. I'm a little more over the top. I want something more fitted up here and then more flair. I hear that. You know what I see? How much is it? It's uh, $3,740. That's, it. That's not bad. 4000 Are you saying yes to the dress? <laughs> oh, I just told me oh. <laughs> yes, yes. Number four, Jay. Jay, a Georgia gal with a mission, set out to find her dream wedding dress after getting engaged to her brainy beau in Venice. She was all about embracing a Venetian vibe for her big day. An excitement buzzed as she strutted into the bridal shop with her competitive sister in tow. With $2,000 in her pocket for the dress, Jay was pumped for her appointment. But, uh-oh, her sister's jealousy started bubbling up. Hi, ladies. Hi. Who's the bride? Me. I'm Jay Harris, and I am from Atlanta, Georgia. So what is it you're looking for? I'm looking for Italian glam. I'm a little more over the top. I want something more fitted up here and then more flair. I hear that. You know what I see? My sister was the baby of my family for nine years, and then I came along. The poor thing burst into tears, stealing Jay's thunder. Determined to keep the peace, Jay dove into trying on dresses, hoping to ease the tension. She slipped into her first gown and bam, instant love. But guess what? Her sister was already twirling in another dress, stealing Jay's spotlight. Talk about a party foul. The consultants got an earful for not keeping the focus on the real bride. But did Jay let it get her down? Heck no. She powered through and tried on another dress. But her family was MIA. They ditched her to check out bridesmaid stuff, leaving Jay feeling like chopped liver. To top it off, the dress didn't win any brownie points. Seriously, could this day get any worse? But hold up, the consultants weren't ready to throw in the towel just yet. They decked Jay out in a show-stopping gown, dripping with lace and sparkle, designated to steal the show. And steal the show, it did. All eyes were on Jay as she strutted out in her newfound confidence, and the gown got a round of applause from the peanut gallery. Finally, Jay found the dress that screamed her name and got the stamp of approval from her crew. Oh, that's the dress! Is she crying? Oh my goodness. Shamira, what do you think? And I can envision her coming down the aisle in that dress. Give me a hug. The minute that she opens her mouth and says, It's really pretty. My heart just, ah. You're saying what to the dress? I'm saying yes to this dress. Yeah. It was a major win, where her inner and outer glow shone bright. But here's the kicker. Her sister, seeing Jay's transformation and owning up to her own jealousy, had a change of heart. She put aside her competitive streak and joined Jay in celebrating the gown, sealing the deal with a sisterly bond. Number 3. Yasmin Yasmin strolled into the bridal shop with her squad, ready for some wedding dress drama. The staff, briefed on keeping the bride focused, were in for a wild ride with this bunch. Yasmin was set on looking like a fairy tale princess for her Prince Charming, but there was a snag when the consultant asked about her budget. She said $5,000, but her fiancé was like, uh-uh, we're talking $1,500 to $2,000 tops. Talk about a buzzkill. Poor Yasmin thought about keeping the real price tag a secret from her man, just so she could get the gown of her dreams. My name is Yasmin Ferguson, and I am 29 years old. Who do you have with you today? I brought a few friends with me. It's always a touchy subject when the bride doesn't want to adhere to the set budget. Sean has said $2,000, but I don't think that's going to happen. I have to have my dress. I am big and beautiful, so I'd like to see if I could find something that will show off my uh, attributes. The consultant, sensing trouble, warned her to tread carefully with the budget talk. And to make things even juicier, guess who was there to lend a hand? Jody, the groom's ex-girlfriend. Awkward alert. But did Jasmine let all that drama get to her? Nope. She strutted her stuff in her first pick, leaving everyone speechless with her princess vibes.
But when Jody chimed in with her two cents, you could practically taste the jealousy in the air. It got to Yasmin, making her doubt herself and her choice. Still, our girl wasn't about to give up. She tried on a second dress, way over budget at nearly $4,000. Oh, wow. Ooh. Girl, that is it. How much is it? It's uh, $3,740. That's not bad. 4000 Not just about you now. Why is she here? Sean is, he likes to make Yaz happy. Um, I like the dress, don't love the dress. While her crew cheered her on, Jody wasn't having it, throwing shade about whether Yasmin's man would cough up the cash. Ouch, feeling defeated, Yasmin almost said bye-bye to the dress dreams. But just when things looked bleak, the consultant swooped in with a game changer. A jaw-dropping gown at a steal of a price. $2,000, down from $4,000. Cue the happy tears and high fives. Yasmin finally found the one and confidently said yes to it. Number 2. Jamie Jamie's wedding dress appointment was supposed to be a blissful experience. But little did she know that her bestie and bridesmaid, Kelly, had her own agenda. With 21 weddings under her belt, Kelly fancied herself an expert and was set on making Jamie's day her 15th win. But boy, did she stir up some drama this time. As the appointment kicked off, Jamie spilled her heart out to the bridal consultant, dreaming of a jaw-dropping gown within her $5,000 budget. But Kelly, bless her heart, couldn't resist chiming in with her expert advice, practically shadowing the consultant's every move. The wedding is six months away, and I have a very tight deadline. And how about price point? $5,000? Okay, yeah, yeah, good. $5, Kelly has been my friend since kindergarten and she's very opinionated. How is it possible because this will be bridesmaid number 21? What? At first, the consultant brushed off Kelly's antics, but when she started meddling with Jamie's fittings, she had to lay down the law. Kelly got the boot from the fitting room, but like a persistent little bug, she kept buzzing around, poking her nose where it didn't belong. Then came the shocker. Jamie emerged in a gorgeous gown handpicked by Kelly, but it was very over budget. When the consultant asked if Kelly was willing to cough up the extra cash, crickets filled the room. To top it off, they found out the dress was once on Jennifer Aniston's radar. Talk about pressure. Despite the oohs and ahs over the Aniston dress, reality hit hard. It was just not feasible for Jamie's budget. The consultant had to lay down the law, giving Kelly a serious reality check. Next up, Jamie slipped into a stunning Panina Tourney dress, but Kelly wasn't having it, nitpicking every little detail. Jamie felt the pressure mounting, and when she finally broke down in tears, the consultant swooped in like a superhero, guiding her to another breathtaking gown. But the ghost of the Aniston dress haunted Jamie's thoughts, clouding her judgment. She felt torn between what she loved and what seemed out of reach, all thanks to Kelly's meddling. I know my dresses, and Mark Zanino does not come cheap. This totally has disaster written all over it. But we don't know how much it costs. Oh, this is the one with all the tags. And I'm in love with it. Yeah, if this is the right price point. It. So I'm going to go get Nicole. I have a feeling that it's already over my budget. We definitely gave it our best shot. Okay, we'll take it off. All right, OK. In the end, Jamie knew she had to keep hunting for her dream dress, one that truly spoke to her, not just to Kelly's fantasies. Despite the chaos, Jamie remained determined to find the gown of her dreams, free from her bestie's meddling ways. Thanks to Kelly's help, Jamie's quest for the perfect wedding dress turned into a wild ride, but she wasn't giving up until she found the one that was uniquely hers. Number 1. Sutton Bride Sutton was bursting with excitement as she entered the bridal salon, surrounded by her squad of friends and family, all eager to help her find the perfect wedding dress. Little did she know that their honesty would turn the experience into an emotional roller coaster. As a Broadway star, Sutton Foster had rocked countless stunning gowns on stage. Now she wanted something simple yet elegant, steering clear of anything too theatrical. 
My name is Sutton Foster, and I am here to find my perfect wedding dress. I brought my two best girlfriends, Megan and Stephanie, and Julian, one of my best friends. Sutton, hi, hi. I'm Lisa, welcome. Hi, what a pleasure you. to meet you. Thank you so much. I really want to feel like when I'm walking down the aisle, it's Sutton, and I'm not putting on a costume. She craved a dress that would reflect her personal style and make her feel truly special on her big day. But Sutton wasn't the only one with dress dilemmas. Wedding model Lauren feared she'd seen one too many gowns, while Hope, renewing her vows, was on a quest for her dream dress. The appointment kicked off, and Sutton tried on a few dresses, each sparking heated debates among her crew. They didn't hold back, and their brutally honest opinions sometimes left Sutton second-guessing herself. Then came the second dress, a draw-dropping $6,800 number by Panina Tournay. Sutton hoped for rave reviews, but one friend's blunt comment hit her like a ton of bricks. She looked like a napkin with a ring around her. Ouch. Sutton's heart sank, and she couldn't shake off the disappointment. But Sutton wasn't ready to throw in the towel just yet. She soldiered on, determined to find a dress that would win over her critics. She tried on different styles, but none could compete with the allure of the Panina Tournay gown. Despite the setbacks, Sutton couldn't shake the feeling that the Panina Tournay dress was the one. She just had to give it another shot. And lo and behold, when she emerged in it again, her crew had a change of heart. They saw its elegance and even cracked a joke about matching napkins for the wedding. How do you feel? I feel great. Your entire personality changes in this dress. You light up. I mean, that's, yeah, that is like so key what you just said. Should we turn you around yes. and see what they have to say? I actually love it now after I mentioned the napkin part. It actually grew on me. I love how fun it is. Are you saying yes to the dress? <laughs> oh, I just pulled my boots! <laughs> yes! yes. Sutton's confidence soared as she realized she'd found her dream dress. With a mix of excitement and relief, Sutton said yes to the dress, knowing it was the perfect fit for her. The journey had its bumps with her crew offering up some tough love along the way. But Sutton stayed true to herself and in the end, she found a gown that spoke to her soul. That's all for this video, folks. See you next time.